Morning, I'm gonna do a Dr. Death's reading like I do every morning. Oh. Dr. Death should be here any minute now. Just gonna put that. Holy Spirit, would you link me into the uh, Holy Spirit? Would you link me into the uh, soul cycle of Dr. Death? Oh, there's still some conflict. Oh, he's. Looks like he's giving up his player ways. Yeah. Uh, I'm make sure all these are facing the right way. That's weird how that one wasn't facing the right way. Oh, there you are, that's your name. So, yeah, uh, or whatever. Look there, if you want. This is both the link in here. You're looking into the soul cycle of uh, Scorpio, Dr. Death, Holy Spirit. Let's see what he has. See what's going on today for the weekend. Holy Spirit, did you link me in? Yeah, your balls are still on fire there, Dr. Death. Looks like. I don't know, I'd get that checked out if I was you. What? Yeah, yeah. This is Spirit, which is like being the soul cycle of Scorpio. Wheel of Fortune, eh? Looking over your investments. Fated event. Does Dr. Death have, and uh, his, his fellow Scorpios have been, uh, in, uh, what's going to happen for them this weekend, Holy Spirit? Oh, what have they got in the heart of the matter? So, Oh, that was quick. Oof. A love union. And illusions. Ooh. So you have a love union coming in this, this weekend. Another one. What happened to the to the Queen of uh, Queen of Swords there? She's too perceptive for for you or whatever? She can see through you? Or... <laughs> well, you're gonna ask Dr. Death. I'll find out anyway. So you got to get love uh, union coming in there. And uh or some kind of union, it doesn't have to be love, could be a new business opportunity. Uh, and illusions, the seven of uh, cups speaks of illusions, so things that maybe are perceived to be uh, options that possibly are not good for you. But some are good too. So, as you can see, there's one here with diamonds in it. There could be, could be cubic sarcarbians, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so the heart of the matter is a uh, union of some kind and illusions, okay? So be careful of illusions there, Dr. Death. Make sure you know you know everything. You're pretty perceptive, though. I'm pretty sure you're on top of that stuff. You're, you're, it's pretty hard to teach an old dog new tricks, if you know what I mean. Let's see. What's that? You're too old of a dog to be screwed by a pup. Okay. <laughs> okay, and the challenge is poverty and juggling. Okay. So, that's two twos. 22 might be significant. 22, 22 caliber or what? <laughs> what do you got in mind, Dr. Death? The old mobster special or what? Jeez. Uh, well, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about... Uh, what the challenge is here it could be poverty, so you could be um, uh, a little low on funds there, or maybe I don't know what kind of currency you use, Dr. Death. Souls, you're low on souls, or what? <laughs> That's what we got here. Uh, oh, this one, Holy Spirit. Subconsciously, you're thinking of heartbreak. Oh, so you did. Did it work out with the Queen of uh, Swords, did it? Oh, that's too bad, Dr. Death. 
You'll get over it, so you know you've been here a million times. It's not your first uh, rodeo. Not your first Mexican standoff, that's for sure. Let's go here. What do we got in the past for Dr. Death? What brought us here? What brought Dr. Death to my uh, table as it does every morning? Oh. Being ungrateful in the past. Ooh. So in the past you were ungrateful for something, were you? Mm. You seen there was a cup that was handed to you that maybe you didn't appreciate, and you saw it, didn't think much of it, and maybe that was the one that you needed to you needed to uh, focus the most on. That's what I'm thinking here, Doctor Death. Hmm. So far you got two twos. Like I said two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, and seven. So you're missing a six. And six is victory. So you, you feel like you don't have victory. Because you're missing a six. If it was ones. A six usually means some kind of victory in some kind of way. Like you're you're getting, you're breaking, you're busting out of your shell. So you don't feel like you've hit your mark yet. Like you don't feel like you've uh, accomplished what you wanted to. So that's in the past though. What do we got in the future or the present? Let's not skip the present. Let's go to the present moment, Dr. Death. What do we got for you? Dr. Death in the present, Holy Spirit. It's presently meeting at my friend Dr. Death here. I'm going to take that one. Oh, okay. It's three. Ooh. So the Knight of Pentacles. So I'm thinking this is a slow horse. It's coming. You're a slow horse right now, maybe. Maybe you're just taking things slow. And, uh... There's another two. That's three twos, Dr. Death. So two, two, two. Maybe you know better than I do what the angel numbers uh, represent. So you're an angel. So you know uh, what the numbers are here. And two, two, two. Two, two, two. What is that? It's an area code, isn't it? Or isn't it a... Two, two, two is Transcona here in Winnipeg. So maybe you, you, there's somebody, somebody you're... Uh, I'm thinking about Transcona or something like that? I don't know. 222, two, two, that's the uh, phone number for usually Transcona. Uh, we got... And sperm. We got sperm here. This is planning for the future. Everybody always talks about, oh, when they get their award, they're like, oh, that, all the blood, sweat, and tears. Nobody ever mentions the sperm. It was the sperm that made it, the blood, sweat, and tears possible. If there's no sperm, there's no blood, sweat, and tears. So. Don't forget about that, Dr. Death. We got here. Mm, slow moving. Something slow moving. Could be an investment, or somebody could be bringing you an apology, or uh, some kind of an, of an offer. Maybe somebody's bringing you some kind of an offer. And in the present, you also have somebody rushing in, doing something brave or something foolish. It doesn't have to be foolish, it could be just brave. Somebody rushing in, doing something without thinking, more passionately. Not really passion, but like just thinking coming in. Because the passion is wands, right? But somebody going in, in doing a like really quick maneuver. Something really like rushing in. I see there's three comets on there. Three comets. Mm. Three clouds, three comets, three. What's moving up to the three? He's got quite the smile on his face, and he's got a dove above his head, it looks like, too. Uh, okay, so presently, you got some stuff going on there. You got, okay, you got the... So you're moving, it's the way I see it, is you're moving your speed up, Dr. Death. You're moving your speed right up. Because, uh, you both got this both in, in the present moment. You got the, the slowest night, and then you got the next night. And then night after that is like, you know, the player night, just boom, 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 boom. But this one's, uh, yeah, you got two nights in the present. One's really slow, taking a leak there. He's, he's watering the shrubberies there. And then uh, you got the sperm here, which everybody seems to look over. But maybe you do look over that too, Dr. Death, because you're more of like, uh, sperm is what brings people into this dimension, right? But. You're more about taking people out of this dimension and getting them ready for the next one. Or else starting over this one, right? So, that's the present. Maybe you're overlooking the sperm. Maybe you should be looking more at the beginnings of things instead of the endings of things. And I know that's your business, but whatever. Maybe you have to take 
look at things from a different perspective. Let's see what's in the uh, future for Dr. Death. What's Dr. Death, uh, and my friend Dr. Death here, got in the future of the Holy Spirit? Oh, 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 okay, here we go. This is my, this is my specialty. So you got a tower coming up. So, there's a tower coming up. So prepare, prepare yourself for that. Prepare yourself for that, Dr. Death. Whatever that tower could be, you know what it is. It's maybe has something to do with uh, the speed of that you're handling things. Maybe you're being too efficient. Like remember your duck, your uh, the postman job there. You were a little too efficient at that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe sometimes you gotta just slow down and you know not, you're making people look bad, right? <coughs> maybe sometimes you have to just uh, sit back, you know, relax. Don't work yourself out of a job. I'm not one to tell you how to do your job, though. You are the best at what you do, Dr. Destin. There's no question about that. Hands down. The guy upstairs definitely know, knew who you who knew who he was hiring when he uh, hired you. So, or put, appointed you to your position. I don't think he really hires people. I think he just appoints. Oh. And the way you're influencing this is cruelty, humiliation. See what I mean? You humiliated somebody. That's what you did, Dr. Dick. You were so damn good at, at that postman job that you humiliated the other postman. He just went on vacation and you took it over for a bit. And then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, he's been working there trying to get a gold watch for 20 years. And you did it in like one day. They want to give you a gold brick, you know what I mean? Just to get you to stay. So, like, I know that's good for you. Whatever. I'm all about that too. You should always try and strive to be the best at what you do, but you may step on some toes. I'm pretty sure it's obvious you stepped on some toes after death and probably stepped on more than that. You know what I mean? Well, you, uh, you definitely got some fans, I think. There's a lot of disgruntled husbands and disgruntled housewives that want you for different reasons, I think. Let's go here. What do you got in the, uh, what are your hopes and fears, Dr. This one? Ooh, okay, so you're hoping for your ten of pentacles, whatever that means to you. You know, for us, most of us, it means money down here, but for you, ten of pentacles is something different. So whatever currency you deal with, I don't know. Maybe your, uh, this could be your hopes or your fears. Your fears could be that now that you're getting this, and maybe they're trying to get you back, and you're like, no, I don't need all that headache. You should, I told you, I, I knew right away when you, you were talking to me about that postman job that you, uh, that it was not, that you should just stick with what you're good at. And there's nobody better at what you do than you, what you do right now, Dr. Death. So. Uh, what is the lens you are looking through, Dr. Death? The lens you're looking through. These two? The lens you're looking through is you're going to have to make a choice stuff to death. You're going to have to make some kind of choice here, cut something out. And you got a choice between two. Uh, I don't think it's even a choice stuff to death. I think it, if this is pertaining to your postman job, I think your job is to cut that out. You know? It may be fun. It's like a little different. Maybe you're getting... Maybe find a new way of doing what you do. Is if you're really good at something, or if you're really, it's up to you, Dr. Death, but maybe you can't get out of it. Maybe most high won't let you get out of, the, out of that job because, like he says, you're, you're built, and maybe that's why he made you, you know? But maybe there's a way to spice it up a bit. Maybe start doing things a little differently. I don't know. Maybe go back to dropping grand pianos on people's heads, or I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, whatever. You know, or an Acme Anvil, or whatever. You never see that anymore, you know? You see it all the time. Let's see here. What have we got in the uh, environment for Dr. Death? In the environment, you're kind of daydreaming. You're daydreaming here, and oh my god, you got another. You got another woman crying over you. Queen of Cups here is crying over you, it looks like. So you're daydreaming about some Queen of Cups now. Or she's daydreaming about you. A lot of water in this in the environment right now it seems. This is both water water signs here. So 
Neither you're in your feels, Dr. Death, which I'm not going to put you on the spot here. We all know how you feel about that, but... Uh, maybe the... Oh. Is this a little baby? Did you pop out? You did pop out a little baby, didn't you, Dr. Death? Which one of you... All that postman activity. Did one slip past the gold or something? Is it Queen of Cups or Page of Cups? Yeah, it's a lot of water. You're, you're feeling... You're in your feelings a lot right now, Dr. Death. Maybe it's the changing of the seasons, or maybe it's the... Uh, wow. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a giant fish? Like a boss. There's a giant fish there. It's not coming to mind for us. Did you get a giant fish pregnant there, Dr. Dex? Because you're a boss. Hmm. Let's see here. And you're... You're in your feels over this uh, Queen of Cups, or this Queen of Cups is in their feels over you, so that's in the environment. We got two, two, two so far. We got, we got a five, five, and a tower. So there's definitely a tower that's about to hit Dr. Death, so I don't know if you're gonna, what you're gonna do, but I, if I was, uh, all those uh, people on your postal route, I would be a little careful right now. I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. What do we got in the outcome? Oh, 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 this one came out blocked. Okay. So you and your player ways is blocking this situation. You need to stop thinking with the, your wrong... Uh, with, you're thinking with your wrong um, harvesting tool there, I'm thinking. Uh... Maybe it's time to get a lot more, I don't know. What do we got in the, what else do we got in, give me three more for, oh, come on, let's put it up the desk before we wrap it up. One more? Okay. The star, okay. So, this is the outcome is the star, okay. So I'm thinking the star always comes after the tower, so whatever this tower is that's about to hit you, Dr. Death, there will be hope, faith, and healing coming after it. So I would just be prepared and brace for this tower because we all know towers, they don't, they don't make a stop tower. Tower's going to drop and you're going to have to prepare for it now. Don't try and weasel around it. Don't try and like get all these chicks numbers and like try and do things covertly, you know what I mean? Like we all know where the problem lies, Dr. Death. You should have never been involved in that. Does the Holy Spirit even know that you're, well I'm sure he does, but does he even know you're drifting off into other lines of business because maybe you're neglecting, uh, Neglecting your, your, your job you were made for, you know, what you're good at. Give me one more. Give me one more. You could be dealing with the Aquarius. Let's see. We got in the, uh, oh. Okay, meditation. So this is going to require, whatever this tower is, is gonna, you're gonna, it's going to require some hope, some healing faith, and some meditation. This is meditation right here, the Four of Swords. It's like, uh. You got, uh, you've been through a lot of battles and, you know, it's time to take a break from the fray and, like, take a look at things, you know? Take a look at why, what you're doing and why you're here. And, and once the underlying information is, yeah, just like I said, this is a faded event, Dr. Death. This is a faded event, so there's no change in this. This tower's going to drop no matter what, so. I would just, uh, where you, yeah, you can. Uh... So that's all I got for you, Dr. Death. Good luck with that.